Staff from Paris-based NGO Doctors Without Borders held a vigil outside the United Nations in New York to honor colleagues killed in Gaza. Its executive director, Dr. Avril Benoit, says a sustained ceasefire is needed because every day the siege and violence continues. The struggle for survival in Gaza grows more desperate. The attacks on medical facilities, on ambulances, on doctors and nurses, and in our case, we also lost uh, one of our colleagues who was a, a laboratory technician. The fact that these people are being killed while trying to bring assistance to the population is, is unacceptable. And the United Nations passed a resolution some years ago that called on the protection of medical facilities. It was a UN Security Council Resolution 2286, and we do not see it being being respected. We do not see humanitarian uh, laws, international humanitarian laws respected here and we're calling on all parties to the conflict to bring about a ceasefire now because the atrocities against civilians need to stop. Wounded children, including toddlers, packed Gaza's Nasser Hospital on Wednesday after an Israeli airstrike hit a residential area in central Han Yunis. Earlier on Wednesday, Israeli forces reached the heart of the city of Han Yunis, forcing Palestinian civilians to seek refuge elsewhere as the number of safe areas decrease. Israeli warplanes also bombarded targets across the densely populated coastal territory in one of the heaviest phases of fighting in the two months since Israel began its military campaign to eliminate Hamas. Palestinian medics said hospitals were overflowing with dead and wounded, many of them women and children, and supplies were running out. Meanwhile, hundreds of thousands of displaced people driven out of the north were seeking shelter in the dwindling number of places in the south designated as safe areas by Israel.